Whereas when you look at Larson's, Larson's is more an imbalance between the quads. So you've still got the same problem, it's still a, a, a development-based condition, but it's not that the quads are getting too strong. What we're actually getting with Larson's is you're getting a distinct dysfunction between the MVL. So when you look at the role of the quads and flexion uh, or extension of the knee, you know, rec fem with flexion of the hip, we also look at the balancing effect, the way the fibers orientate, that VM is going to bring that patella medially and VL is going to bring lateral. And just like guide wires on a tent, they hold the patella tracking that in that femoral groove between the condyles. Now, what you'll normally find with, with um, Larson's is it's more to do with a slight shift in the pull of VL and a weakness through VM means the patella is kind of being pulled slightly off keel. Yeah, not enough where we'll get the patella chondrolitis, we'll talk about in a minute, but enough that you get a slight rotation. Yeah. The chondromalation, yeah, is, is runner's knee. Yeah, it's uh, patella chondromalacia or, or runner's knee is where the patella is completely maltracked. It's, it's pulled lateral over the, over the lateral border or the lateral condyle of the femur. And so what you get is friction. Yeah, so the problems with that or the differences with that to, oh, surely that's Larson's where it's a VM imbalance. No, because what else attaches off the patella and attaches off that lateral side is ITV. So the reason why we get a lot of, it's called runner's knee, is lots and lots of running, VL gets strong, glutes get strong, hamstrings get really weak, upper range hamstrings initiating extension of the foot to give me that drive at the very beginning of phase where I heel strike or foot plant or toe off, depending on which style I run. If I'm not getting high-end hamstring engagement and recruiting the posterior chain effectively, I increase my reliance on, on upper range glute, which not only kind of increases the amount of the limit of extension, but also gives me that external rotation. So then I'm rotating the femur, I wind up the ITV, and so what's happening is you're going to get this ITV coming down off that lateral side of the knee and it's not about rotating because you got to remember rec fem you know rec fem will keep the patella relatively straight so when i'm in balance between the lvm as in with larson's the patella stays where it is and it just rotates when itv becomes involved the whole thing gets shifted so it's not about rotating it's about shifting it yeah, so now the whole patella gets pulled across, so it gets pulled more lateral, and what you get is you get, um, you get rubbing or friction. So now you start getting kind of that lateral knee pain. Pain feels like it's underneath the patella and it's kind of pain up in that lateral side.